the Renters Reform Bill. Now that's something that a lot of landlords are really worried about. And if you're a landlord and you're not worried about it, then it probably means you don't know enough about it or you haven't heard about it. But I can promise you it is going to be the biggest change in the private rented sector that we have ever seen as landlords. Myself included, I'm a landlord too, and I know that this is going to be a huge change for a lot of landlords. So why are landlords worried about it? Well, I think there's two reasons for this. First of all, the uncertainty of it. In fact, I don't think anybody has done a very good job of broadcasting exactly what this means for everybody. Yes, a lot of people have said, these are the things that are proposed and are gonna happen within the Renters Reform Bill, but nobody has really said, this is how you can protect yourself and prepare as a landlord for the Renters Reform Bill. And certainly not many people have said this is what's going to happen after it's in place. This is what it means for your tenants. This is what it means for you as a landlord and everything there is to do with being a landlord. Not a lot of people have done that yet. I feel like I need to do that. I need to share what I'm going to do for my own properties, for my own tenancies, but also what I'm going to encourage all of my landlords within my letting agencies, what I'm going to help them do. Because then everybody can be prepared and everybody can be future-proofed from the Renters Reform Bill. And that's the most important thing for me, is future-proofing yourself as a landlord, future-proofing your tenancy, your tenants, your properties. Because for a lot of us, those properties are investments for the future. And it doesn't matter whether you're an accidental landlord, maybe you inherited a property or you moved out of a property into another but kept the one you moved out of. It's all an investment. You are invested in property one way or another. You made a decision to use that property as an investment. And there are other people that bought a property purposely as an investment. And what we have to do as investor landlords, whether you consider yourself an investor landlord or not, you've really got to start thinking like an investor landlord. And that includes future-proofing your investment, making sure that you are able to continue producing financial security, income, future financial benefit, growth in the value of the property, all of those things, it's vital that you make sure you future-proof your investment for that. So what I've decided to do is include a big section in my regular quarterly landlord webinar all about the Renters Reform Bill. And what I've done is I've narrowed it down into a five-step guide to the Renters Reform Bill. It's gonna go through the main areas and the main things that you can do as landlords to future-proof, protect, and prepare yourself and your tenants and your properties for the Renters Reform Bill. Now, within that webinar, I also, as normal, I do a landlord legal update, which is all of the new stuff, all of the changes, all of the additions that are in the legal requirements of landlords. And I also do a fairly in-depth property market update specifically for landlords. And the reason I do that is because I think it's important as landlords to know what's going on. It helps you forecast. And I do include my own forecast in that section on what I think is coming in property in the next 12 months, but also what I think prices are gonna do, rent values, property values, mortgages, what I think all of that whole thing is gonna do, insurances as well. So definitely make sure you tune in for that. But what I do want to say, whether you join my webinar or not, it's free by the way, I forgot to mention that, but it's definitely free. I've got two purposes for my webinars. Number one is that I just wanna help as many landlords as I can, because this is a bit of a minefield nowadays. There's 170 different legal requirements that landlords should know. And that is growing and it's always changing. And there are so many landlords now that are gonna get caught out 
by all of these different processes and requirements and things that they've got to know. That's my objective number one, is to help as many landlords as I possibly can. Doesn't matter whether you're a customer of my letting agency or not, you might end up becoming a customer of my letting agency in the future, of course. But I just want to help as many landlords as possible so that everybody knows what they're supposed to do and everybody can be protected as a landlord. I'm a landlord myself and I'm fortunate enough that my business is in lettings, property sales and mortgages. So I'm in this industry and I spend a lot of time and a lot of effort and I invest a lot of money in understanding, learning and educating myself in that property market. So I want to make sure that everybody else can benefit from that and protect themselves and prepare for the future. But my second objective for doing these webinars is, of course, you might be a landlord and you might reach this point where you think, do you know what? I've had enough of this. I want to sell or I'm going to pass it over to a managing agent to look after. Or do you know what? My mortgage renewal is coming up now. I need to do something about that. I need to get a, a remortgage to a, to a rate that I can cope with. You might decide that you want to have some sort of portfolio analysis to see which properties you should sell, which properties you should remortgage, which rents you should change, and what you should do with your current tenancies. And obviously my company provides all of those things, but I also wanna make sure that you're pointed in the right direction. You might not be in my area. You might not be able to be a customer of mine. So I will point you in a direction of other letting agents and other estate agents that I know. So I know quite a few letting agents. I've done a lot of training for a lot of letting agents and I train with a lot of letting agents. So I have a good idea of which ones are good and which ones are not good. And of course, look, if you end up becoming a customer of mine, then great. That's fantastic. Of course, I'm a businessman. I do want new customers, believe it or not. Shock, I know. But if you don't, then I just want to make sure you're getting it right and you have the right tools and the right knowledge to be able to do this yourself. Because I do believe that the powers in this country, I'm not gonna say the G word because then other, otherwise social media will start blocking these videos if you mention anything to do with our formidable powers in this country, running the country or supposedly. Anyway, controversial I know, but I do believe that those powers in this country are trying to push all landlords to be more like letting agents, to have the right setup to be able to provide tenants with a quality standard of living. And that's what we're all gearing towards. It's gearing towards trying to provide quality standards of housing across the private rented sector. That's the headline, that's the objective. And unfortunately, there's gonna be a lot of landlords that are penalized along the way. They're used as examples to try and showcase what the powers are trying to achieve. And what that means is that there's gonna be a lot of witch hunting, there's gonna be a lot of scapegoats and a lot of examples made of other landlords that perhaps are just good people that have just got it wrong accidentally. And that's why I'm doing all of these things. Now look, I've managed to stretch that out into a 10 minute feature, which I didn't actually mean to do. I actually meant for this to be just a quick one to say I'm doing this webinar, but it's a free webinar. So you should join it. It's on the 30th of April. I also forgot to mention the date. I'm gonna put a link below so that you can join me. Please do send me any questions or answers that you've got in the meantime, and I will try my best to answer them as well, either on the webinar or I'll answer you privately. If you've got your own problem as a landlord, then please do ask the question and I will help everyone I possibly can. So. 30th of April, free webinar. It's called Landlord Interactive. And this one is focused on the renters reform bill, the current legal requirements of landlords and the property market update that I think we all should know. So I'll see you there. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.